Back to this couple that are dating. They're dating for, you know, whatever period of time, whatever age they may be. And he comes up with the idea of a prenup. She begins to wonder, just like you do, what's going on here? Are there trust issues? And they begin to open up, it begins to open up for her in her mind, other things that she begins to see. They should not be walking down the aisle so fast. Why does it bring up trust issues? Bec if you're, wait a minute. If you're an intelligent person and you're marrying this person, okay, let's say, and spouse A has, like you say, a lifetime of things, real estate, right. investments. But this is a... Why, why wouldn't the one marrying be intelligent enough to say, wait a minute, I can completely understand in today's world why you might want to protect those things that happened before I even knew you. Mm -hmm. Now, as for the things that we do together, what are we going to do about that? Mm -hmm. What if she said, but I, I just am concerned. That, is it that you don't trust me? All he has to do is, say no. is explain yes. where, that, where that concern comes and from. And how that comes into play is each of you get your own attorneys. Somebody called me the other day and said, I, wanted a, I want you to draft a prenup. I said, great. Here's a referral for three attorneys for your spouse, and we're going to work together because both of you need to have your own independent advice and from a different perspective. If I'm going to represent the spouse that has the money, I want someone who can advise the spouse that doesn't. Is that uniquely your perspective? That's what I was going to say. Is uh -huh. that required? Or, or do you... It's actually, it is, requ it is required in the sense that both parties need to have independent counsel or there needs to be a separate written disclosure with that they sign a waiver. I have had three of my prenups tried to be challenged. Didn't work, but tried to be challenged because it was the claim of, well, I wasn't explained enough or she didn't tell me, and I'm able to produce the seven-page letter that goes line by line explaining what you should do, why not to do this, and if you do it anyway, sign here so you know that I explained it mm -hmm. to you. Be and I always send them to the other side and say, look, let somebody else, I'll draft it, let them review it and make sure that I'm not doing something that you don't understand. Right protects all of us. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting because I would think it would be something that you would sit down and do together. Like, okay, in this instance, how are we going to handle this? Yes, we <laughs> know. We exactly. should, no, but right. you started out together. Love. Absolutely. Yeah. We started out together. I send them one because I deal with one. I say, look, ask all the questions. What do you want to do? How do you want to do this? Do you want to give a piece here? What about spousal support? What about gotcha. these things? Then once we've come up with a draft, I say, now take this. I see. Take this to X, Y, or Z to review it and see if they have questions as to why did you agree to this? What about that? Because it's a really important mm -hmm. piece of paper mm -hmm. that you hope they never need. We've got some good.